Hello everyone! Today I'd like to show you how to crochet the cardigan. I came up with this style, combined different patterns and made buttons myself. To get started I need to create a foundation chain. To do so I will make a loop and put it to the left, then insert the hook to make my first loop. Then I wrap tail and ball end of the yarn over my pointer finger and I will hold the bottom of the knot like that and then I will make my second loop then again will make my third loop So make uh, loops loosely, do not uh, create them tight. So I will repeat the process until I reach 108 loops or stitches. 108 is my last loop and then I will work a returning chain or loop. Just make an extra stitch or loop. Then in the second chain or loop I will do single crochet. So I will make a new stitch and then crochet those two stitches together. Then I will do the same in the next loop. Single crochet again single crochet. So I will repeat the process to end. So continue single crochet so last single crochet and then again Work a returning chain and turn. For the second row I will do reverse single crochet. So I will insert my hook from the back and then grab the yarn and then I will crochet those two stitches together. Just like so. Then again, insert the hook from the back, grab the yarn and crochet those two stitches together. So I will repeat the process to end. So I will alter for the back, for the wrong side, I will do reverse single crochet and for the front I will do just regular single crochet. 
and I repeat the process for another 10 rows. For the next pattern I will do back loop only single crochet. Just do the same thing as we did before. And then at the end again, single crochet, make extra loop and turn. So now I will do front loop only, reverse single crochet. So I will continue front loop only reverse single crochet to end and then I will alter for the right side I will do back loop only single crochet and for the wrong side I will do front loop only reverse single crochet. So after this pattern I will repeat my first pattern again. So now I will change pattern again. I will do single crochet and then I will reuse the stitch or loop to make a new stitch and then I will reuse the following chain. So again I will repeat the process to end, make one stitch, make another one, crochet those three stitches together. For the second row of the pattern just make one single crochet and then reuse the chain, then make a loop so again make one stitch Make another one, crochet those three stitches together. Again reuse and make one stitch, make third stitch and then crochet those three stitches together. So I repeat the process to end. So now I crochet only first 24 stitches from my hook for about 10 rows. So again I will continue the pattern. First single crochet, 
and then I will reuse this stitch and then make new stitch from the following stitch and crochet those three stitches together. So count again to make sure that you have 24 stitches and then work a returning chain and then turn. So this is your front side. Now do the front side again as usual single crochet. And crochet the three stitches together and then again continue the pattern work a turning chain or loop and then turn again and work your own side So now I will crochet only first 14 stitches from the sleeve side for about 5 rows. So I will continue the pattern. Fourteen. So count again how many stitches you have, then work turning stitch or chain and work your front side. So at this point you can cut the yarn and secure it or uh, crochet all the way down and then I will start to work the back. So I just didn't like to cut yarn. all the way down I will leave for the sleeve six stitches one two three five six so I will again work
So now I will work 48 stitches and then I begin to turn and work front side. So again I will continue the pattern, single crochet and then make two more stitches, crochet those three stitches together. So count again your stitches. Here you should have 48 and here you should have 24 plus 6. So on this side you need to have 30 stitches. So I will make turning stitch or chain and turn. So again I will continue the pattern for about 15 rows. So at the end of the row, one more time. And then work returning chain and then turn. And continue the pattern. So now I will work the back shoulder. So I will continue the pattern for 14 stitches. So at the end of the row This is your bronze side, so put bronze side and now I will connect my two shoulder pieces. So I, I will do it on the wrong side. So this is how I connected two shoulder pieces. And now I 
I will go to other side. Of course you can again cut the yarn and secure it, but I just don't want to waste my yarn. So now I will continue the pattern to end and then I will do the shoulder as I did here. After that I will do the front. For the sleeve I will change pattern again. I call it chain pattern. So I will make one chain, I will make another one and last one. So then I skip one stitch, I will grab my yarn and pull it through both loops. That's it. Then again, this is my first chain. One more and last one. So again, I skip one stitch, then grab the yarn and pull it through both loops. So I will continue the pattern until the end. So at the end again skip one, pull it through, three. And then again, this is my chains, so I will insert the hook in the middle of my three loops and then grab the yarn and again pull it through both loops. Then again, this is my first loop. Second, third, and then again in the middle. So I will repeat the process to end. So in about four rounds I will decrease one stitch. So again as usual I will make three chains and then I will make one chain and then in the next one I will make another chain. So and then I do yarn over and pull it through three loops. 
then again and we'll make one chain another one and continue my pattern so again in the four rounds I will do the decrease I will make one loop another one and then crochet those three stitches together so I will continue the process till I reach the desired length of my sleeve and decrease uh, it's better to do on the arm that way it won't be visible So after about 30 rounds from the shoulder, I will continue single crochet for about 4 rounds. So that's the usual way. So at the end of the round just continue back loop single crochet So now our sleeve is ready. So now after both sleeves are ready, I will attach the yarn at the bottom of the jacket. And then I will continue single crochet.
Then for the bottom, I will repeat my chain pattern. So this is my first loop. I will make second one and third one. And then I will grab the yarn and pull it through the loop. Then again, this is my first chain, second one, third one, and again I will grab the yarn and pull it through the loop. So at the end of the row, just two more loops as usual, and then pull it through. Then two more loops and turn. On the front side do the same thing. Just grab the yarn and then pull it through the loop. And again. So in about middle. Then again, I will make two more loops and then turn on the right side. This is my right side. And then again. So I will continue the pattern for a few more rows and then I will cut the yarn and secure it. So then just cut the yarn. And secure it. So once we finished, the only thing that is left, I need to sew buttons. Before making button loops, you need to straighten up everything and then attach the yarn. Then make series of chains. So this is my first chain and make it tight. I will make nine chains. So second, third, Then 
I will insert the hook into the loop, grab the yarn and pull it through both loops. Then I will just work the way to the other bottom. So one more time. And then I will do again nine chains. And then again, I will attach the yarn from the side. So again, I will work my way to my third button. But of course, uh, you don't need to do that if you don't want to. You just can cut the yarn and secure it. It's just my personal sin that I don't like to cut yarn. I just would rather work to the next button and then at the very end I will cut the yarn and secure it. So now at the end I will insert the hook into the loop, grab the yarn and pull it through. And then I will cut the yarn and secure it. So now we made a simple and elegant crochet cardigan. Thank you for watching.